But wait, what about the Apostle Paul in Islam? Let us see. Is there something that we can find about Paul, i.e. Bulus, in Islam? Hmm, let's check it out. Now this is Tafsir al-Qurtubi for chapter 61, ayah 14 of the Quran. Again, Tafsir al-Qurtubi, chapter 61, ayah 14 of the Quran. وَكَانَ الَّذِي بَعَثَهُمْ عِيْسَى مِنَ الْحَوَارِيِّينَ وَالْأَدْبَعَ بُطْرُسْ وَبُولُسْ إِلَى رُومِيَّةً Now pay attention to Butrus Wabulus. Let us see what the translation says. And they were sent by Jesus from among the disciples, i.e. the apostles of Jesus, and followers Peter and Paul to Rome. So Butrus is Peter and Bulus is Paul. That's what we also call them as Arabic-speaking Christians from the Middle East. Butrus, Peter, Wabulus, and Paul. Did you catch it? So Muslims, according to Tafsir al-Qurtubi, Paul is mentioned in your Quran in chapter 61, ayah 14. So Muslims, why are you such hypocrites attacking Paul and lying about Paul, saying that Paul is the one who corrupted or created Christianity. Shame on you. And why do you lie about people like Bart Ehrman who defended the Apostle Paul and refuted all of your so-called Muslim apologists? Muslims think, think, but wait a second. Do Muslims actually think? Let us see. Let us see. Let us see what a Muslim has to say about thinking in Islam.